What's going on people, it's Mr. Dog back again. I hope everyone's fit and well. And this is a different type of vlog today. I'm doing a vlog regarding the boycott of the racist comments regarding on social media. I know everyone's done it. I did it as well. I didn't do it for three or four, was it three or four days. And I gave my opinion on BBC Radio Nottingham. I thought you lot will know because I might have been too early to watch it. So people, if you want to hear it, listen now. What's your opinion on the three days? Did you agree with it? Did you disagree with it? Comment below in the comment section. And do you agree with a boycott? Do you think racists will go now? My opinion, like I said, go and listen to it, go and watch it. I might as well like it, subscribe if you are new and comment below on your opinions. Enjoy. Young brother, you're a king, and you don't have to worry about a thing. A wise man told me, embrace, don't worry about them who try trouble in your wind. They say they love me, but I don't really know though. Would it be the same if I had no dough? They're trying to use my status for their promo, photo, screaming YOLO, got me solo. When's the last time you knocked on my front door? And when last did you ask out a kid? Very, very quiet on social media because there's been a sporting boycott. So clubs and players and fans from the world of football and cricket and rugby and tennis all joined in. I think it started with football, but it, it went much wider. And so people just posting a message and then not posting anything else or not going on social media for the time of this boycott. And the point really would be to send a message to Facebook, to Instagram, to Twitter, to do more to tackle people who use those sites to leave racist and sexist comments. And it's got to stop. They've got to do more. Because people can do this anonymously, never get caught, never get found out. And you can hear the kind of misery that that causes for players like Anton Ferdinand. But not just players, other people too. Like Ben Dor who's going to talk to you now is a Forest fan and he commentates on red matches for his YouTube channel and he's had this kind of abuse as well. Morning Ben. Morning, how are you doing? Morning, I'm alright thank you. Uh, so just sort of interested to hear what happened to you and how it affected you. When did it start? Uh, basically it started last year, I think it was about May. Um, I was doing an Instagram live with a fellow Forest fan and then when he finished um, I noticed, I saw a comment on there and I saw the N-word and the first thing I, I, saw, I said to myself, that's the first time that's happened and then someone else did it I thought, wow, okay, <laughs> this is strange and then... And do you respond? I, did, you, did you complain? Did you I, go to Instagram? Um, no, no, what it was, I screenshotted it, I screenshotted it and I thought, so this has happened to me before, so I put it on Twitter and then... I got, I saw the message was going back and forth. I was like, okay. Then I got a phone call from someone from Forest who worked with him closely. And then it, it's about, it was about three or four weeks later, I got a phone call saying that um, the person's been caught, blah, blah, blah. And, but what shocked me, it was a 14 year old boy. That's what shocked me. I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but, um, yeah. And was it taken <laughs> down? Did, did they act and get rid of it? Well, the, the post? Yeah. Yes, the post was, was, uh, was taken down. Um, but yeah, it was just... It was just I, was, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like I said, with a 14 year old boy doing it, like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't like, shocked. Because the young, young people these days are saying what they want these days. So I was, I was surprised what, what, what was said, but I wasn't like really upset about it if you know what I mean yeah and is that the only incident or have you had others I've had uh, well this, 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 I think it was in November like I said I'm, like I said, I'm a YouTuber um, I do forest comedy games um, yeah. speak to fellow forest fans around the world and then I think it was the first six minutes um, it, it, like I said it came out of nowhere people saying comments saying the n-word monkey mojos uh, get back to your country to, uh, wash your skin out I was like uh, what? Uh, okay. what? <laughs> yeah yeah washing all kind of sorts and I was like and and I said again I wasn't even like really bothered but the next day someone screenshots the, the pictures and put on Twitter I thought oh I forgot about, about, about this because I said my, my mindset was like yeah, it's happening everywhere so I can't complain about it so 
but it, 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 was, it was just like... So it was like a more, barrage? It was like one person said something terrible and then more no, and more? It was, yeah, it was more, it was like a six, it was a six minute barrage, but my, my, but my reaction towards it was like, uh, okay, it bangs off, but then the, the comments were getting worse and worse and worse. I was like, okay, this is not stopping. <laughs> but it was just one thing, I'm, it was, I was really shocked with it. And how does it affect you when you see all that coming up on your feet? Especially if you're getting bombarded like that. I didn't realise it kind of happened like that, but it's like a like a piling of some awful. Yeah, it was, it, like I said, it was, it was, in this world, like I said, you, you are going to get people doing it, but when you get like tons of them, like on YouTube, you get like um, banter. But this one was was more crazy because I know all YouTubers was getting it, but it wasn't as bad as I, I was getting it. So Horrendous. it was just. It, it, it was it was crazy at that time but like i said i forgot about it but someone like i said screenshots the pictures put it on twitter and it went viral and from there it was, it was crazy so this boycott over the weekend then um loads of people took part in it players and clubs and not just football other sports as well and, and fans do you think it'll make a difference nope not a chance because these three, three days like i said i fully understand the big companies doing it i fully i, I get it but if, like I said, I'll give you an example. If Forrest lose a game, someone's going to target like a, a a black person, regardless. Why? So I, 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 Why? I, 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 I don't understand that. It. We're, we're in this world now. We're in this world, and it, it, there's always going to be someone who wants fame, blood loss because of this, of this, what's happening right now. So I just, we can't I, I'm just really going to accept it, can we, Bear? No, we can't. We can't accept it. But it's not. It's, it, we, 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 we're in this world now. We've like said with social media, off Twitter, Instagram. Facebook have, 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 have gone strict about it because if you, if you go on Facebook you, you, you get terminated your contract but with Twitter and Instagram it's not going to stop and I'm sorry to say but that, that, that's the honest truth and people will agree with me on this So you don't think that by sort of sending this message and effectively saying to them if you don't do something about it we'll come off for longer or you know we'll boycott you all together you don't think that's going to cut through the no, normal it's, it's, it's not. it's not going to happen and, that, and we can do this that and other like I said I understand the big companies doing it but I just don't think it, 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 that will stop. And that's my opinion. Oh, so, well, it's a shame, isn't it? It really is. We've got to do something, yeah. haven't we, Ben? Any ideas of what yeah. you could do? What we could do? What everybody could do? Well, um, I know I, I'm seeing, like, the, the, the most famous people have got um, a, a certified on their Twitter account and Instagram. I don't I don't understand. If, if you have, if you do make an account, make sure you verify yourself on all platforms because if someone could say something about me, then you know who's doing it and they get yeah. caught. Yeah. And, that, and, that, and that's simple, that. But it's not going to happen because of uh, people on Twitter, they, they sell stuff and all that. So I, cowards, I, I don't... don't they? Yeah, exactly. So I, don't, I just don't think... I don't think you... Everyone's going to be verified on any social media platform. That would be a solution. Ben, thank you. Thanks for coming on and telling us about it. And it sounds awful what you went through. I'm, I'm sorry you had to do that. But to tell us about it, I think it shines a light on what does go on. Ben Dorr, Nottingham Forest fan, is a YouTuber, commentates on Red's matches for his YouTube channel. Look him up. Young brother, you're a king. And you don't have to worry about a thing. A wise man told me, embrace. Don't worry about them who try trouble in your wing. They say they love me, but I don't really know, though. Would it be the same if I had no dough? They're trying to use my status for their promo. Photo, screaming YOLO, got me solo. When's the last time you knocked on my front door?